Nanook Metal. Tuk tuk. Hello friends, my name is Nanook Metal and today I would like to show you how to complete the Firestarter Heist and Stealth and on one down difficulty. And uh, spoiler alert, I guess I'm not going to do the day one in stealth because man it's 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 very difficult. It's very difficult to do if you're gonna have a four man crew, it's gonna be very difficult to do or much more difficult to do if you're doing it by yourself so I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna go ahead and try com to complete this in loud it's very convenient that this that will probably yeah that will down me <laughs> also used up all of my ammo which is probably not the best idea given the low ammo pool of the Thanatos sniper rifle but that's okay I did bring a second ammo bag with me the secondary equipment, which is an ammo bag, with the help of the jack of all trades. And I'm expecting to go down quite a lot because this difficulty is a total pain. And that's why I brought a doctor bag with me, along with the ammo bags. Other way around. Two doctor bags, one ammo bag. So I'll be able to keep myself healed up and uh, hopefully I won't go into custody today. If I do, I'll well, before that I'll try and take a hostage. I really should have brought a grenade launcher. Oh, I think I got downed by the exploding weapon bag. Make sure that when you throw the bags in, you don't... Oh, might might go into custody. Yep. Can I get a hostage before I do? Might not have enough time. Ah, just didn't have enough. Oh, maybe I did have enough time. Let's see. Yep, okay. Go trade it out. Awesome. Um, where's Clover? I'm gonna try and keep my bots alive because they're gonna be the ones help me helping me out hopefully trading me out of custody if I go there Whew, quite a difficult heist to try and complete especially uh, without an explosive weapon like an RPG or something I usually bring one with me as a secondary but today I decided to bring a saw because otherwise drilling through the well, let's not let that blow up. Yeah, without a saw, we'll spend a lot of time trying and op trying to open those trucks up. On the other hand, without the explosive weapon, you can't really clear the waves of enemies. I'm gonna try and throw a couple of. The good news is, I'm almost there with the weapons. I'm gonna get myself up with the Messiah again. Because I only need to grab one more bag. Blow it up. Good timing, the assault is also finished. You know what? I'm gonna patch myself up. Just so I have an extra down. Those two kills should actually end the assault, I think. Maybe that one over there. There we go. The assault is finished and I actually managed to complete the objective. Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot of enemies there. Took me 8 minutes, quite a while, but uh, doing it by yourself is a pain since even though bots can carry your bags, they're not very consistent, they keep dropping them, so I completely decided not to let them carry any bags at all, just carry them by myself. Well, we're in the day 2 of the frame, frame heist. And I've switched to my stealth build. If you want to see that, check the description down below. I also got some body bags, some spy cams. Those are the two most important assets that you can get. The other one that you can probably get is the camera access. That really comes in handy if you've got a friend to play with, unlike me, uh, who can stay here and highlight the guards 
for you. Make sure to press or to hold the S button because that zooms out of the cameras. Normally they are slightly zoomed in, so you don't get as much of the of the uh, field of view. Uh, what else? I'm kind of waiting for that guard to leave because he's blocking the most useful entry point into the FBI office. There's another way to enter the compound and it's the main doors or this door on the side here. The... Well, that was a stupid idea. I don't even know if I can pull that off. I'm not sure. Might be able to pull this off still. If I can kill all those. All those all these guards without getting spotted, but there's another guy over there who if he comes around the corner I'm kinda of screwed, but we'll see. Man, that was such a silly thing to do. Just running into the main doors like that. This is why I used the other door. Because it is a little bit, a little bit more secure. Okay, let's start the damage control. I do have another body bag case with me, thanks to the jack of all trades. I'm gonna pick up some more right now. I'm gonna start hiding these bodies because that is extremely dangerous. As you can see, the metal detectors are not really doing much. Not gonna trigger an alarm or anything like that, like they do in the... Where's the camera? Okay, I gotta make sure I don't leave bodies outside. Or in front of the camera's view. But yeah, the metal detectors don't really do anything. Do any more guards spawn if you kill four guards? Not really, this is not an elephant heist, this is a Hector one, so uh, don't expect another guard to show up if you killed a lot of people. Uh, but uh, hopefully this area now is kind of clear. It is indeed, I can start with the main objective, which is locate the server room, get closer to it, that will trigger the next event, which is ha hack the computer. Funnily enough, you actually don't need to hack the computer in order to complete the heist. What the computer does is that it will highlight the correct electrical boxes for you. The boxes are already there, however there are like somewhere about 8 boxes located around the FBI office, they look like this, and you don't know which one is the correct one, so you can go guessing and uh, you need to hack two. And if you guess correctly then you actually won't need to hack the computer. You can just go for the server and you are hacking these boxes or cutting that one wire in order to disable the alarm that is activated and that will trigger if you try and open the server door rooms before this point. One more thing that I want to mention is that sometimes there is a safe that spawns over here and it will contain a key card. You can lockpick that safe if you got the nimble skill, you don't have to drill through it. Definitely don't drill through it. It will take too long and it will probably be detected by guards since the uh, safe is in a very exposed area behind large glass windows. Let's see, I've interacted with the two electrical boxes. As you can see, there are more of them around, but hacking that computer showed me the correct one. So now I'm able to go in here without the key card, which I could have used here right now. I'm just going to use the ECMs and I actually could have used the saw on it and saved myself an ECM because if I need to ECM rush this, that extra 30 seconds of the ECM would be quite useful. But that's completely fine, I'm, I don't think it will be actually very difficult. I got a server room in a very nice spot. If you're not very comfortable with this heist then try and restart a couple of times to get the server room in that location, it will make things much more easier. The other thing that I want to mention is that on overkill difficulty and below you only need to bring one server. 
on Mayhem and above, there are two servers that you need to bring, that you need to steal and bring into the van. So that's something that you need to consider when you're doing this by yourself, because if you're thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna grab that server, I'm gonna escape, I'm easy, I'm rushing, I've got enough time. Uh, actually, it's not exactly the case, you still need to bring that second server. But there we go, I now need to bring it to the van, it took me just above six minutes to complete it. Not the fastest time, I've done this probably like in under three minutes before, but I got very lucky and it was actually on overkill, so I only had one server to carry. But even then, I'm sure you will be able to complete this a little bit quicker than I am, with a bit, pra with a bit of practice. I'm gonna switch to a build that has upgraded drills, and also ha I will make sure to bring a a loud saw. I'll need that in order to dominate the civilians later on. I don't really want to kill anyone today. And, or at least I'll try not to kill civilians. The guards, I'm pretty sure. I'll just kill them. Okay, got the saw. Got the body bag cases, ECMs. Probably could have grabbed some grenades, but that's okay. Okay, let's give it another go. Gonna open up this door just to see what the server room is and also grab the key card. There it is. <laughs> Still didn't bring the right equipment. I got the silent judge this time, which hopefully I will be able to use on the cards. There we go. I did bring a loud saw. Everything is good. I think we should be able to pull this off now. The cameras are now disabled, which is pretty nice. And I can now go ahead and I'm gonna tie these guys up. Make sure to bring these guys to the van in order to get a fairly easy achievement. No, I don't think I will be able to boost that guy out of the view, so I'm just gonna let him be for now. I'm gonna go drop this drill off. Sadly can't start it just yet, because I still need to disable the electrical oh the electricity that is connected to the vault. Just kind of a crazy design decision, but whatever. There we go, and that's the main difference from the bank heist to the normal... Uh, from this day to the normal bank heist is that you will need to disable the electricity. Otherwise, if you try and set up the drill right now, you will get electrocuted and you'll start uh, just shooting in the one direction. It disables you for quite a while, so you do need to be careful. And remember to disable the alarm. There's that key card on that um, manager, and it's not actually very useful to me right now. I'm gonna kill these people. Do I look like a professional? Seriously, Bane. Decided to kill them just so I can kill this guard over here, and now I can start the drill up. Got all the drill skills, so it will be f fairly quick. And this guy over here, I guess we could move you a little bit, just in case that last guard decides to go into this corridor. And that's where I'll be able to take him out. I'm actually planning to dominate the whole map, because I want to use the uh, saw and open up all the deposit boxes and loot the whole place. Payout is not going to be that great today because I did not complete or I did not secure any weapons in the day one of the framing frame. And this is where you will get a huge amount of money from, even if you do it on the overkill, just because there are so many weapons. Probably would have gotten like a huge payout on one down difficulty, but trying to secure the weapons it's rather difficult when you are doing this by yourself. 
And nevertheless, if you've got a decent team with you, give it a try. Make sure to bring all those weapons in and secure them. Remember that there is a Captain Winters that spawns and he will be standing in the area behind. Oh, what is happening? He will be standing in the area behind the van. So you do need uh, to be careful when you're there and make sure that you bring some grenades or some kind of uh, way to deal with the captain. Okay, that's the last guard dead. I think he saw those civilians over there, which is actually pretty nice because they managed to uh, distract him enough. Now I'm going to use my saw in order to suppress all of the civilians. And in order for, to make that work, the saw needs to be loud. And the you need to have the Stockholm Syndrome skill on basic. This is a way to avoid killing any civilians whatsoever. You just need to shoot the saw in the air a couple of times every minute. There are three civilians that walk around outside of the map. I found two of them, one over there and the other guy was over here. Not sure where the third one is, but that's okay. At some point I'm sure they will hear the noise that I'm making right now. And this lady always dies because she stands in front of the ATMs. Kind of sad. Well, let's see. Got two more minutes on the drill in all you have to do is now just wait for it because this is the third time that it breaks it's not gonna break any more than that you can just go ahead and afk well i still gotta stay here because i'm gonna use the saw every so often just to keep the civilians suppressed but other than that than that there is nothing much to do but look for packages and pick up the odd loot i suppose well i'll see you when the drill is done the drill is done, the body is freaking out there, which is pretty nice, hopefully it doesn't crash the game. There we go, I also uh, probably should have brought a Molotov with me today, just to lower my health and make the Berserker activate. The uh, This build that I'm using right now, since I had to switch to have the drill skills, doesn't have those, doesn't have that ability. So what I might do is, I'll start the fire and damage myself from that. Yeah, that works just fine. Once I'm at about like a quarter of a health, Berserker will be pretty strong, so I'll be able to open these electrical boxes. They're not electrical boxes, deposit boxes with just a click. And uh, that's about it. You actually don't have to go for the loot. You just have to make sure that that money burns and once that is done, you will pick up that camera and you will be able to escape. I just mostly do this to occupy myself until the burning is done. And until, well, basically until I can leave. Not finding much loot, much baggable loot, it's mostly loose loot or instant loot. People don't really want to keep their money in the saves these days and in the banks. I wonder why, especially in the world of Payday 2. I mean, I'm not even surprised. As you can see, the civilians are completely fine. They're not doing anything, not trying to get up. Even the bank tellers, once you suppress them, and as long as you keep them suppressed, they will be pretty cheerful on the ground there. Occasionally screaming because you, you keep making loud noises. There we go. There's a whole bunch of loose loot lying around. I picked up a money bag, but other than that, I don't really care about the payout. Of course, when you're doing this heist, if you need the money and the extra experience, make sure to secure as many bags as you can. And that's about it. it took me just under 10 minutes to complete the day three. Not too bad overall. 8 minutes to do the day 1, 5 minutes to do the day 2, and again, not, didn't get a huge payout because I didn't secure much. Let me know uh, well, what 
your biggest payout was from this heist because it's actually a fairly good way to farm but again as long as you secure everything other than that if you still have any questions in regards to this heist or any other heist at all make sure to pop the question down in the comments below if you enjoy this video make sure to share it with your friends because good people need to watch good videos and thank you very much for watching I hope you have a good day and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.